something that that really was was pushed on me at Freeman was to to never quit, um, to to never give up. And if you get knocked down, get back up. Like you can't just roll over. Um, and again, either that's in the classroom or on the field or in life. I think my fondest memory was probably Skills USA. I love the competition. <laughs> I'm a bit of a competitive person, but having the ability to create a project and try to solve a problem and get to present on it and tell others what we worked on and just try to help another person through our project and research is really exciting for me. I think my favorite one would probably be ASB. Uh, I was the ASB vice president my junior year and the ASB president at my senior year. I just thought it was honestly my favorite. I've always been um, involved in leadership and, and had a passion for that. And so just like these amazing memories um, that created this really strong foundation of, of business in my mind. And so what I learned um, at Central Valley uh, was pretty invaluable. I participated in pretty much everything that I possibly could. I, uh, I literally would do anything that I could get my hands on and just loved being around people. I'm very much a people-driven person and it's kind of how I live my life today. It's I want to affect change and make people smile. I was involved in leadership in ASB, dating back to Green Acres all the way through high school. So leadership, student council, student government, all of those things, link crew. I always just found myself in those roles and those advisors and teachers were always super supportive of me and created a, a found, fantastic foundation for me that I still carry on. Yeah, in, uh, in high school, I, I, well, throughout uh, at least junior high and high school, I participated in sports and I played uh, basketball, baseball, and football. I think the ability to balance extracurricular activities with school uh, taught me time management and I think that goes a long way in being a successful adult. Learning how to learn. In the manufacturing class, thinking through it on paper before you actually go put all the pieces together, right? It's learning how to consume knowledge in a variety of ways, but also how to apply it in a practical manner. I would say the thing I learned most that will, or that has prepared me to be successful and going through the rest of my career is just resiliency and perseverance. Everything worth having, everything worth doing is made better through adversity, through struggle, through hardship, through that process of understanding how you can be better and how you can improve. I would say one of the, one of the skills that I developed uh, while in school uh, was one kind of just being hard work and grit and that and that's that's carried on especially into my military career and as an officer and as a captain. I had a teacher in fifth grade and her name was Mrs. Bauer and um, but one thing I'll tell you like that she was passionate about was her students and she just showed me like that to me, I was more than just like a passing grade, and uh, that was something I really tried to incorporate into like myself as an educator. Most favorite parts of what I do now is seeing the light bulb come on when you teach an athlete, whether it's a lift or teach them, you know, working with them on running or teach them how to do something in a sport, and you see the light bulb come on, you see their face light up. Um, you know, I've, I've been very fortunate to have, you know, a lot of successes in life, but seeing that success uh, to me is probably the most rewarding thing I've done so far. For me, uh, learning through repetition is the best way I learn, and learning that there are different ways to look at problems, to solve them, is really something that will stick with me for the rest of my life. A huge thing that I took away from this internship 
that in the paper was um, work ethic, determination, putting your hands to work, and your mind has to be completely just ready to go every day. It helps you know what life is going to be like in the future. The most rewarding thing for me will be um, when I finally get like the, my dream job and working with kids, and because I love working with children and working hands-on with and making sure that kids feel safe in their environment, and that's all that I ever want to do.